So in today's lesson number three, we will be starting a practical chapter. We will be learning word processing using Microsoft Word. Okay, so uh, reasons to use word processing software is used to, because word processing software is used to produce documents such as letters, reports, newsletters, posters, leaflets, information sheets, or fact sheets, and even memos, okay? So using word processing software, the following uh, documents can be pro, uh, what you call produced, okay? So, uh, in order uh, so for us to get started off with this lesson, I have uploaded uh, so many activities and assignments to your classroom. So, let's get started off with the first one. Uh, once you log into your classroom and come under lesson number three, the first activity you have is known as formatting a Word document. So, when you open it, you have two documents with you. That's view assignment. And uh, the first document is this. So, let's download this. Open a new window. and uh, download this document and then do not forget there is also one more document for you you just click on back here is another document as well so download that as well download document Okay, so let's go to our folder now and get uh, started, show it in folder. Okay, so uh, let's open both of them. So one is the instruction file and the other one is the file used to format the document. So I initially opened the instructions document. click enable editing and also let me open the formatting document okay so you should be having two documents this is your formatting document and then this is the document with your instructions on what you're supposed to be doing okay so uh, getting started off uh, over here we have a list of uh, questions to be done so what I would do is I would want to keep both windows side by side I would, I would want both these word documents to be side by side so how I would do this is I would take this document press the windows key and left button left arrow key and then I would take this one and keep it on the right hand side okay and then I can zoom out uh, okay this looks better so the first question goes on to say format the title the Zenith Oil Company and Sports Club and Cultural Club 13 December 2009 as follows okay so let me select this particular sentence okay and it goes on to say the font has to become Times New Roman so over here the font name can be changed so let me make it Times New Roman over here and then the next thing is it should be font size 20 so I type 20 over here press enter then it goes on to say it should become bold so you can use a shortcut key control B or you can simply come and click on bold over here and then it goes on to say the alignment should be center so you can center align it from here shortcut key is control E and then it also goes on to say the font color should be black okay which it is already black color okay then the second question goes on to say format the remaining text as follows so all the other text, the remaining text, you can select all of them using the mouse. Okay, you just click at the beginning and then drag it. Okay, so all the text gets selected. It goes on to say the font should be Arial. So over here we have the font names inside the home tab. So I type Arial over here. Press enter. Font size should become 12. It is already 12. Alignment justify. Okay, so the shortcut key for justify align alignment is control J or else you can come over here this is left this is center this is right and this is justify okay so you just click on it and click justify the font gets justified and it has to be uh, font color black okay which it already is then the third question goes on to say format the text the manager so we select the manager also it goes on to say zenith oil company sports club and treasurer so i need to say select both of these and I also need to select the word treasurer now if you want to select something which is not continuing okay now the word treasurer is all the way at the bottom so what I can do is I can press the control key 
while holding the control key I can select the word treasurer okay that's what I did and it goes on to say that they should all be bold so you can press control B or you can come and click on this D button here okay I'm going to press control B so control plus B makes all of them bold then it goes on to say the text cash list form okay cash list form uh, fundraising form and approved budget so I'm going to press the control key because it's not continuing so I press the control key and select the word fundraising form and I also have to select the uh, sentence approve budget so I select that as well from here to here okay using the control key uh, they should be both bold and underlined so for bold you can press control plus B and for underline you can press control plus U okay if you are not comfortable with using shortcut keys you can always get bold from here and underline from over here then the next fifth question goes on to say you're expected to create a bulleted list for all the items under the uh, approved budget 2010-2011 so uh, these are the list of items that are coming under this topic they are supposed to be made a bulleted list so what I do is I select all these uh, sentences okay up to here and then over here you can see you have something called bulleted list okay so from here you can select what type of bullet you want okay I'm just gonna go with the first one okay so I have created a bulleted list under approved budget then it goes on to say change the line spacing in the document to 1.5 okay line spacing basically means the gap between two lines okay so I'm just gonna select all the text the shortcut key to select all the text is control A so when I press control plus A all the text gets selected Okay, and then let me just make this full screen under the home tab if you look at this under the inside the paragraph group we do have something over here which is called line and paragraph spacing I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to say I want the line spacing to be 1.5 just like the question uh, paper said then coming back to my question paper it says check for errors in spelling and grammar okay so you notice these red color lines over here these red color lines over here depict that there is a spelling mistake over here if there is a green color line it depicts that there is a grammar issue over here so we have no green color lines we have only red color lines which means there are some spelling mistakes to be cor uh, corrected so what you can do is you can always come to review and you can come to uh, check your document so when you click check your document the shortcut key is F7 function key 7 what it does is it will check for all the spelling mistakes in your document okay so remember it's in the review tab inside the review tab you have something called check document uh, so it tells you that there are four spelling issues and one grammar issue so let's go through them the four spelling issues is this particular word so it suggests do you mean questions or do you mean question okay so you select the word I'm sure it means uh, if there are any questions so let's change that to questions then accounting this is the correct spelling cash this is the correct spelling items this is the correct spelling and there's also one issue with grammar so it should be fun dash raising that's it okay so now there are no spelling or grammar issues and it says you have finished reviewing them okay so we're done with that question as well then the uh, question paper goes on to say that we are supposed to be creating a table very similar to the one over here so let me quickly show you how we create a table over here so once again windows left uh, this is supposed to be coming at the end of the document so I'm just going to keep the I'm just going to keep the cursor over here uh, and I'm going to say insert and I'm going to go to table so over here I will be requiring one column two columns three columns four columns five columns basically five columns and uh, how many rows will I need one two three four five six so five columns and six rows okay so that's done I'm just going to quickly start typing the information inside here date description receipts payments and then we have cash balance on hand so I can press the tab key and go on to the next uh, row so it says September 2nd and it goes on to say raffle 200 sheets at 10 
sheet. Just the tab key. It says 2000. Tab key, tab key, 2000. Tab key, set six. We have breakfast sale. We have 600. 600. Tab key, set eight. Prizes for raffle. 500, 2100. And set nine cake sale five hundred and fifty and then again five hundred and fifty. Then if you notice the last row has become one cell. Okay, each of these boxes are known as cells. The last row has entirely become one cell. So how do we do this? We merge all these cells to make it one cell. Okay, let me show you how we do it. So I select all these cells, okay, select all these cells, right click. And I come to merge cells. So when I click on merge cells, this becomes one cell. And I'm supposed to type over here date November 5, 2010. Okay. So uh, what I'll do is I'll take the table to the next page. The entire table will be over here. So I'll just keep the cursor here. Click over there and press enter to go down. Okay. So it has come on to the next page. Then uh, it goes on to say format row 1 as follows. Okay, so the first row should be formatted. So I'm going to select the entire first row. I just take the mouse, click from here and drag all the way up to here. So it says the font should be Arial. Let's make it Arial. The size should be 12. Let's make it 12. Uh, alignment center. So we have the center button over here. You can use control E. And the font should be bold. You can click on this so you can press control B. Then the next one goes on to say format row to format row two to six as follows. So I'll select row two all the way up to row six. Once again with the mouse selected from here and dragged all the way up to here. The font should become Arial. Uh, size twelve and alignment center. Okay, that's done as well. And then it goes on to say merge and center the text on the last row of the table. That's already done. Then it says using word art, insert the heading for the table as cache listing and format it as follows. So the heading for this table, we have to insert it using word art. So I'm going to keep space. So I'm going to keep the cursor over here and I'm going to press enter so that this table will move further down. Okay, so I'm pressing enter. You can see. So now I have space over here to put the heading. So I'm supposed to insert the heading using something called word art. Word art is mostly used if you want a stylish font. Okay, so you come to insert, you come to word art. Okay, so you have various stylish designs to use. So I'm just going to go with uh, this orange color one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up and stretch it all the way up to here so that it will be correctly in the center. And the heading is supposed to be cache listings. Okay. So that's done as well. Then it goes on to say the font should be Times New Roman. It should be 25 and bold. So let's change all this. Select this text. Come here and change this to Times New Roman. It should be size 25. And do not forget it's already bold. Then the instruction paper goes on to say in the header insert your full name and center align it. So we do know that this particular area is what we call the header and the bottom area is what we call the footer. So remember whatever you insert in the header or whatever you insert in the footer will automatically appear on all pages. So let me show you. We come to insert and we come to header and we come and click on insert edit header. Okay, so when you click on edit header, can you see this particular top area opens? We are supposed to be typing full name and center align it. So I'm going to be typing my full name and center aligning it. So select this. Control E is a shortcut key for center align. And then I'm going to close the header and footer. Close it. So I come back to the normal page now. Then the question paper goes on to say in footer insert the page number and right align it. So let's go into the footer now. Footer is at the bottom of the page. So insert footer, edit footer. And they said to insert the page number. So in, inside the header and footer tab, you have something called page number. I'm going to say I want the page 
number to be at the bottom of the page and it's supposed to be right aligned. So this is left, <coughs> this is center and this is right. So I'm going to go with the right aligned one. So we have the page number over here, page number one, page number two. So then close your header and footer. And then the question goes on to say, make sure your final output looks like the image is shown below. Save your work and close MS Word. Okay, so just make sure your document, everything is all right. If everything is all right, you can click on save and uh, you can close it. And then do not forget to re-upload, to, sorry, to upload this work back into your classroom. So this is the work document you completed. So make sure you come into your classroom. Uh, we'll come into this assignment. Let's click on back and then click add or create okay click add or create and you say file uh, click on sign in and page so we come here to add or create we say we want to add a file so we select files from your device so it's in downloads for me so I'm going to select the correct document this is the one say open say upload and do not forget to click the uh, turn in button okay so once you click the turn in button I will be getting a notification that you have submitted your work